opposite of Cushing's is Addison's disease. In Addison's disease, you want to add steroids. You don't have enough. That's another way to kind of help you remember it. So this is going to be the mirror image of what we just talked about in Cushing's. So in Cushing's, we had too much cortisol, aldosterone going on. In Addison's, we don't have enough. And there's a picture of JFK on there to help you remember he was a very famous person that actually suffered from Addison's disease. So the primary cause is that the adrenal gland just malfunctions. The sad thing is we don't really know that the adrenal gland is malfunctioned until almost 90% of it is destroyed before we really see the symptoms exhibited. So by the time we realize there's a problem for most people, we can't really do much about it to help them fix the primary cause. The secondary cause would be that the anterior pituitary doesn't produce enough ACTH. Well, from what you understand, so even if the hypothalamus is doing its job, it kicks out the CRH, sends it to the anterior pituitary. If the anterior pituitary doesn't do its job and send the ACTH to the cortex, it stops right there. So that's not the most, that's not the most common cause, but it makes sense once you remember.